Good afternoon. Today is the fourth class of the C lab. Today we will basically cover up the C basic thing. Today we will cover the call by value and call by reference. So someone has asked what is call by value. It is basically, it is a, our C is a procedural programming language. Now we will learn this object oriented programming language. Now we will learn functional programming language like say Python or Dora, then the object oriented programming language you can get it in C++ and Java and Python but C doesn't have object oriented programming language, C++ does have that feature then the, uh, the basic thing is procedural programming language what is procedural programming language? see if you say what is procedural programming language? procedural programming language is nothing but there should be always one thing and there should be if, if, you, if you write a program with a 10 line string, that is also a C program. But program means is algorithm. Algorithm means if you have 1000 numbers, you don't have to run the program for all the 1000 numbers. You have to run the program for only 5 or 10, then your algorithm is good enough, which can get at this 1000 number. So then that is the difference between program and algorithm. Algorithm means it's a definite number of states. Step 1, step 2, step 3, algorithm is nothing but a recipe. Recipe, how to cook a food. If you give an algorithm to somebody, somebody can cook a food and program. So it doesn't have to be tested for all types of blood. Let us remember. But whenever you are doing it, you have to sometimes repeat it for. See, any program, if it's a 10 lines without any function, we, we generally hesitate to program. What is doing by program? You try to make a small function, you call that function again and again. Now you call that function, you call that function with some parameter. So that I am giving the numbers here, I am giving some number and that is called the formal parameter. Whenever you see the function definition, there is no star. That means it is always called by value. Called by value means whenever you are passing it, you give a copy. Don't give the actual reference. But whenever you see the star, you know the already Know the concept of the point. When you get in the scanning, it is ampersand. It is the address of uh, that is means at the address. Two different things. This is means content at the address, at the address, content, at address, at address, content, content, and you are giving them, you are referencing the actual address. That is the pointer. That is a a, a integer number because address always integer number and, and another is uh, here here also it is a address of this is the address of address of address of and you know this this one and this one it is nullified like it is a inverse like it can go to nothing okay together means same okay reverse is also star and this one like our inverse identity matrix. So whenever you are seeing the star that means you are giving the address and address at that variable at that particular location. Danger is whatever is inside the function whatever happens that happens there. Okay so that portion can be changed and risk is that that is not maybe the intention of the programmer or there may be hackers. So always reference is modern languages it is not there. In Java, Python is always call by hand. Call by reference is not there, but call by reference is always a faster. So it's a quicker approach. Okay, but you should know both because C and C still preferred because of its call by reference. There's always a concept. Somebody have asked the question, what is the use of pointer? The pointer means it is and then actually give the reference. But modern day language like Python and Java that is running a virtual machine. Advantage of virtual machine is it is a one advantage is that you cannot hack into the machine, the main machine, at least the, that, that particular virtual machine may be shut down, very difficult. They are basically like a sandbox and that will not be you cannot hang the main machine. That particular process that Virtual machine process may stop, but your main machine can be can be always on. That is one. But what is the cause of it? What is the disadvantage of it? The virtual machine is always slower. Okay, it's always ten times slower. Okay. But the, that is the but nowadays process 
answer is so fast, other things are so fast, so it does not matter. And also the virtual machine, even the Python, they are written in uh, object 24 and other things, but they generally libraries are all implemented by C++. So most of the time C++ is working in background. Okay, so that is the concept of the pointer. Pointer means always a absolute address in your memory. It is not a and this absolute address is very harmful. It can your machine, your whole machine can be stuck and all these things. That absolutely not possible. You can see your mobile phone and all these things that doesn't generally hang. If it process to the open, then it can be slower. If it doesn't hang, it doesn't crash. If the five six years back, the windows crash because right now they are all going for virtual machine. Advantage is you can remote desktop, you can have remote everything because of the virtual machine. So, but still. All my reference has lot of questions will be come and so you should be always aware whenever you see this kind of star that means you are actually passing the value that you pass that. But for two by the three line program you cannot do it, but if you have a long program, say, data is a huge program, say is an image, like a video. Now this data may be one megabyte, two megabyte, then the all my reference will be definitely faster. But we have to use it caution. So what is the pros and cons of call by method and call by reference? Most all of, most modern languages, C does have the facility, all by call by method, like Java, Python, or call by method. So it is only copy is needed, creation of new space. So it will take up the space. Earlier the memory at that time when we were very switchy and this, they have developed C and called yet, 1961. And at that time the memory is 8K, so they always try to conserve the memory. So, but here, another thing I'll talk to the data type. Like right now, the Python, the, all the variables are non mutable type. It is non mutable, but it cannot change. But see, it can be changed. I'll come to this. What is the data type? So, call by reference is this, call by value more safe, but it is slow. So that's it. And there are another thing is static. That is a keyword. Is static, you will experience the static keyword not only. C, C, Java, Python. It, it meaning will be changed to some in different language, it will be different. But one thing I must tell what is difference between static and static global? Static global means it will always initialize to zero. But only global, it need not be initialized in zero. The static global is fixed. Another thing is static global for that particular global variable will be available in the this file will not to the outside file. I'll count. That is static. Okay, thank you. What, what is the use of static? What is the use of, use static? of static? Yes, this is some programmatic, this is basically some tools given to the programmer to keep the program safe. Because when the static was developed, at that time this object oriented programming and this other uh, programming has not developed. So they want to, the main programmer want that particular value should not be declared in outside of another because any program is not developed by one program. It yeah. can't be 5, 6, 10 programs. Yeah. So that is the particular programmer wants this static variable, global variable name, so that that variable name should be used in that file only, not to be outside. Yeah. And static always initializes the variable to zero. So that restriction might be helped for the program. That is the reason of static. Otherwise, and if the global variable has to be mentioned, then in another file you have to declare external people. That I have told you, external. But here, static variable only inside. Then whenever the static variable will give meaning a function, the main meaning totally changes. Thus, whenever you put the static variable within a function, the scope is within the function, but after, because every variable in a function, if you do not speak it, it up, it will be always created in stack, except global variables. Except global variables. So they are always created in stack. When the function returns from the that function, the whole variable contents will be finished. So if you want particular variables to be stayed there, so you should keep that variable static depression within the function. Are you getting it? So every time Whenever the function re enters, that particular value will be there. That is very helpful for, say, Fibonacci number calculation and all other things. Whenever you want that earlier value should be there, a factorial value calculation, you want that particular value should 
it there within the function, but its scope is local, but it keeps its values. That is static variable in local concept. And then static function. If you put static in front of a function, that means that function is visible within the file itself, not to be outside the file. So in general, a C program can consist of one, two, three files, and that function can be called from other files also. You have to declare the header. That the function signature. What is the function signature? Function signature is nothing but the function, first line of the function with a semicolon. That is the function signature. If you wish to use that function in other files, you have to just you just input the no, you can include the header file also. Yes, that, that header file has to be included there. That is another way. And if you put static in a main function or file, that function cannot be called. So that static is a tool that that we Basically, it, it, it basically gives some limited scope, and that will be advantageous for because if you give all power to all programmers, the programs can go wrong and very difficult. If it's a, we say Windows program, which is written by maybe 10,000 programmers for 10 years, so it is, there are always some bugs are there. So, how to control the bugs? The need this kind of utility, but the main programmer architect who will decide which variable should be static, global, or not. So static function not to be seen outside function. Any question about static? So the static means uh, it, it, it different to context. Static function is different. Static local variable is different. Static global variable is different. So that it depends on the context in various. Now we come to the file operation. It is a, if whenever you see file, this is in, in definition is given in into standard by eight. The definition is there. That is a C. When you start, that is a pointer. When you this is a pointer, and you can make it any name. File fp1, fp2, see the two files, fp1, fp2. And if you have a file pointer, this file pointer is now f open this file. If this file is not there, it will return some minus one or this error. But if the file is there, then it is file one. It will bad for me. I should. I should try to fit a Python recognized while two like this. Okay, because it is not a Python, I say while one. One is always true. So character APC in the file pointer, I'm picking one. I can try if UF is there. UF is match less zero. Always zero. Yeah. Then it is break. And otherwise it prints it. And you always remember A close to that is if you do not do this, your program might hang and all these things. This file, anything you have created a file by notepad and you call it and then it will print out. So the mode is only read mode, there are seven modes. So summary of what I have discussed, that is C is very, very rich language, but try to learn C++ Arabic, that is still the one of the best language and it's, uh, it is the fastest language. It is fastest language and there is a lot of demand in C++. That is one. Yes, any question? Sir, can it only open C type of file or any file? It is in any file. There is no C type of file. It can open C. I have C here. It is a file also. Not C, anything. Not C. Yeah, yeah. That can be done. So that we have to see. Probably right now our limitation is text file, ASCII file, and, and 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 the file. Uh, file. Okay. Excel file, you can open it up as a raw mode. So that then it will be you cannot read that file. You can try it. So generally it can open dot text file, dot exe file, binary file, binary file. You can open it as a binary file. Binary. So you just try it. This is a good experiment. You can try it. Yeah. Any questions? Type of address stored. Yeah. Yeah. What's your question? So, what will be the type of address stored in the pointer variable? Yeah. It is pointer when address stored is always integer. If the computer has a memory, you know the memory is 8 GB or 16 GB, and lower 1 GB will be taken up by the operating system always. And the others, say, if you, it is a, this is a memory. Say, this is a memory. And this is a say CPU, and this portion will be always from say the lowest location and the highest location on the hexadecimal address. Say it depends on 
Okay, at this lowest location, it is always OS operating. Then, usually, for every program, say your word is taking one window, your, your program, your other program, say if you are learning Microsoft, Visual C++, Microsoft C++, it is another window. Anyway, this is, this is the scope. And here it will be your A.out file, which is executed. Right now we are executed. This is the A.out file, and then your global values. Global static static value will be there. And then the this portion is called stack, and this portion is called heap. I'll come next day I'll discuss the heap memory allocation. Heap memory that here stack. So, if you want to get rid of a stack variable, then you have to put the variable static, like static, local, then it will be created here. But remember, your program size will be bigger, because when the program written in stack, it come and go. But whenever you have any static variable, will be, take the space here. And this a dot out is always read only more. So, coming back to your question that, uh, uh, pointer will be always the output will be in which number which is generally expressed in hexadecimal numbers. Yeah. Yes. Sir, uh, in some string we have all, we also have to redefine the size of the string. Like character and bracket we have to redefine the size of the string. Yeah. So while we are storing the file in a uh, string variable, yeah. how, do, how do we identify what will be the size of the file? Yeah. Sorry, that, that, two questions. First of all, C has a particular limitation in array that array has to be fixed size, okay? But at the file, that restriction is not there. So, because the file is basically, it is nothing but a, it's a concatenation of its characters. Last line should be UF character. UF is another character, like this character, it is character. So, I, I, I will not find any, you do not have any problem in storing them. But, the, in your program, yeah, reading, reading is also, reading, reading you have a sufficient buffer. Yeah. Then you have to have a sufficient buffer, the buffer is full, you have to, your program yeah. should take another buffer. Yes. Yeah, that's what I am talking about. In case of reading, suppose you have to store a part of the string, you yeah. are trying to store a So that is, always, that is always the C program's problem. They, that is one of the weakest thing of C program. That is, it is that array is not binary, array is static. So that is one of the main problem with the C. Uh, in C++ that can be handled, yeah, yeah. in C++ that is handled, but in C that is a problem. That is a reason C++ is very popular, because all the lacuners are, get, are taking care of it. Yeah. In C and Java we can like... Java the problem is there, Java and Python they are slower, much much slower. But whenever you are exporting C++ program, then always be a chance for all the, all the libraries are written type of Java, Python are all written in C++. So, but you have to be export in C++. So that then that then but export in C doesn't have any value. But export in C you have to learn other. But you should take the concept of C++, object oriented programming and other things. Oops. Yeah. Go ahead. Oops. I I'll mention maybe prepare another hour to discuss. Say a little bit dive into the C++. Any question? Anything? Any question you can put up from earlier classes or future classes. But you should always practice and Sir, practice. Yes. What will happen if you don't do that F close? Yeah, that is a good question. See, if you do not happen get close, you will first be getting a warning from your compiler, that is one. And probably have you got it? a segmentation fault anybody? Yes, sir. Segmentation fault is very big. So segmentation fault you might experience. That is in your turbo C will not get. Segmentation fault you have to take care of everything. So it is better to always practice, even the indentation like Python, so that there is not a If I go to your text, if you, if you do not make indentation, you cannot check it. Yes. So always take this. And all the variables, whenever you take it, you will be initializing. So whenever you go for the static variable, you will always initialize zero. It is better, whenever you declare a variable, you initialize with zero. Because sometimes you compare the variable in a loop that will be problem. Okay, I have business. Thank you for listening. Any more questions?